Okay, I've got a little character here. Many years ago, I used to almost be like a magnet for these things. I used to freaking air attract them. Honestly, I have probably filmed these more than anybody else I know. And what do you know? Right at the front, I've got another contender. under there somewhere. If I move that pot, you might even see his face, but he might get a bit jittery. No. <laughs> this is echidna. It's Australian anteater. You can't shoot quills at me or anything. You notice quite specifically his little tail. Spikes there. You can see his fur quite well. Underneath it's brown dog fur. He's a bit lighter than most of them. Underneath, they're uh, no spikes or anything. And their back feet actually face out backwards. And uh, it's one way I... Sometimes you see them on the side of the road and they still be walking on the bitumen on the black top and you could actually grab them by the back leg and turn them over and they couldn't roll up into a ball but generally speaking these boys will roll up into a ball if given a chance and I have had these things more than anybody else that I know and there goes a little nosy and he's very calm because he's not too worried about my voice Oh yeah, buddy. <coughs> Very small eyes. And I've seen him blink just then. That's amazing. They need to stick their nose out like that while I'm talking or filming ever. Never ever. You sit here for a few minutes, you might just wander off. Oh, buddy. Some nervous twitch or something going on there. Don't worry, buddy. Nothing's the matter, hey? I'll pour some water for you, eh? You might be a bit thirsty. Oh no, now I've scared you again. Oh well.